there are actually two areas that we can go in here. One is the the area near the plastic palm, and the other is here. And here it crashed. So let's go through here first. Where are you? There, there, there. Oh, it looks like a very, very tacky bar area. Yikes. Zoo bar. Oof, that curtain. That curtain looks like it's cheese. Probably about the worst looking drapes I've ever seen. Absolutely. Take them. Oh. Oh, it's a supply cupboard. <laughs> Stretching the word cupboard. An old broom with a broken handle. Gimme. Gimme all the old crap. Behind the curtain is where they stored their junk. There's no room to get inside. Besides, I can see most of it from here. Fair enough. We got the most useful part? Or... Oh, hello, cylinder. It contains some sort of flammable gas. It says to keep it away from bright light and heat. Potentially very dangerous. So let me guess, we're going to put it in bright light and heat. But it looks like something that will go in the the machinery that wasted the kid. They even thought to decorate the TV in the style of the room. Yes, uh, cartoony. It's bust. It's definitely bust. Hmm. Curious furniture. Yes, very whimsical with its rock shapes. It's nailed to the floor. Standard bar table, I guess. So you don't leave with the table. Gotcha. It's empty. It's not my day. Yep, you just can't get a break. You had to give away your vodka, your beer. This beer is empty and probably has been for years. The zoo was really up on technology. This terminal must have been the source of useful info about the place. Pity it's not working. It might have had a map of the zoo. I'm sure we can figure out the, the layout of the zoo. This cactus looks very fake. I might have known there'd be a cactus somewhere in this place. It seemed pretty light. Oil, all congealed, long past its use-by date. But still useful. I imagine that this place was packed when the zoo was open. Well, how else are parents gonna cope with the... Uh, with this place? Pity there's no bar service these days. Yeah. And no bottles that we can take either. Hmm. There's a list on it. It's just an old menu. It's not useful. I wanted to read the menu. It says on the label, keep away from sources of heat. Highly explosive gas. All right, let's go to more dot 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 areas. Oh my god, <laughs> it keeps getting better and better. I feel like I'm in Indiana Jones. It's a warning light for the magnetic field. The field is activated. Well, let's deactivate it. There are no it. buttons or anything. Nothing I can do from here to shut it down. Hmm, shut it down please, shut it down. The magnetic field is to prevent visitors from getting onto the exhibit. But I want to get on the exhibit. no good. I can't get through. So where are the controls for the, the stupid barrier? Bad idea. Moving on. Oh, well, this is a lot more normal. The Well of Knowledge, Union Zoo's bookstore. Well stocked, or is it just that few people ever bought any books? It looks really well maintained. I mean, it looks clean and everything. 
Oh, I don't want to go to the goddess. I want to go in here. But I can't. It's what's left of an old broom. Hmm. It doesn't seem like he wants to go through to the wonderful room. Wonderful, nice, clean room. It's no use. It's reinforced. Have no more rounds. I have no more rounds left. I have no more rounds left. Oh, I suck as a detective. Oh, all right. So we can't break into this place. Maybe we can come up through the well, though. Well, well, well. Let's see if it's going to crash this time. Oh, yes. That's the thing with old games. You, you think you reach an unpassable point, but then you find fixes for it. Shame. This mechanical creature is out of action. So this was a zoo filled with mechanical creatures. Interesting. This electromagnetic barrier is to keep visitors off the exhibits. But I will get round those barriers. No good. I'd only risk injury. If the barriers cause injury, and this was a place full of children, Maybe you should reconsider these magnetic barriers. It's flashing. The electromagnetic barrier is on. Well, I can't reach the robot lion. Truly spectacular. Truly spectacular. The amazing Sphinx of Giza, an imposing mystical statue. Very mystical, in all its plastic glory. Welcome to Union Zoo's wow. Egyptology exhibition. This magnificent structure is a reconstruction of the mystical Sphinx of Giza, situated in Cairo's archaeological area. As well as this magnificent structure, at the original site, one can also visit the incredible pyramids of Cheops, Kepra, and... Warning. Technical malfunction in command file. Replace damaged file. Control room access code follows. Use graphic wheels according to standard procedure. Today's code. Under the supreme eye of the father of the gods sits the solar protector of all men. To the right of he who delights in the eternal becoming of his being. Well, at least there appears to be a control room somewhere. I just need to crack the access code. Well, I think it did say something about Horus, or... I don't know. It was very distracting, because it broke character. Warning. Technical malfunction in command... In command file. The amazing Sphinx of... The amazing Sphinx. Very amazing. Oh, there are some wheels. There are three wheels at the base of the statue. Oh my. Very complicated con controls to reach the control room. Well, that didn't do anything. I guess I'll have to listen to the riddle again. But later. Okay, close the screen, please. <laughs> How do I exit it? Oh god. <laughs> How is there not an exit function of this puzzle? Oh dear. The button must be pressed after forming a combination of the symbols. Ah, there we go. Well, nothing happened. Good. I, I fear getting stuck again in, in, in a point where I can, cannot pass. I know this. It's the Egyptian god Anubis. Cool. Can you tell me the riddle again? Warning. Technical malfunction in command file. Replace damaged file. Control room access code follows. Use graphic wheels according to standard procedure. Today's code. Under the supreme eye of the father of the gods sits the solar protector of all men. To the right of he who delights in the eternal becoming of his being. Well, at least there appears to be a control room somewhere. 
Alright, we'll figure that riddle out in a hot second. But let's go to more dot dots. The flashing light means the barrier is active. True, because there seems to be actively lava in here. The barrier that prevents visitors getting onto the exhibits. I can't get past. But we must get past, because there seems to be an entrance here. But we cannot pass. Alright, I guess we have to figure out the stupid riddle. So difficult to get into the stupid control room. I can't even tell what these shapes are, to be honest. <laughs> well, nothing happened. Under the watchful eye of... Uh... Uh... Under the watchful eye of the father of the gods... What was it? Sits the solar protector of all men, to the right of he who delights in eternal becoming of his being. Well, I do not, uh, I do not know exactly what to do with these wheels right now. It's probably Horus and Ra involved, and I don't know what is the third one. So we'll, uh, we'll just figure that one out later. Well, nothing happened. Nothing happened. But now we have more inventory to deal with that we can try on the other rooms. Hopefully to deactivate these stupid barriers. And also, what was that kid doing here? This is an abandoned area kid. It's very dangerous, as you found out. So can we use the expired oil with the machinery? I haven't got much. I'd better not waste it. What about the cylinder? There we go. Okay. Done. Done. Let's see what that did. It's a control panel for the machine. Yeah. The short circuit has wasted the controls. Damn. Right. It's short circuited. But that, that thing is flammable. I've placed a gas canister inside. Right. It's an empty beer can. Unfortunately, I, ha I don't have any more rounds left to ignite the gas canister. I have no more rounds left. It's not quite enough to blow the sluice. All right, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to blow up the sluice. So I'm gonna need a lot more firepower. The warning light for the magnetic field is off. The field is now deactivated. Alright, let's go back to each and every area and see if I missed a pixel that is critically important. It's no use. It's reinforced. Alright, so after thoroughly exploring all of the zoo, I have concluded that we probably should go somewhere else. I could I could easily look up the the Sphinx solution, but I'm I'm waiting to see if the game is gonna try to explain what what you're supposed to do. So let's go back to the station and see see if we can do anything else in here. I wonder if I can cut that barrier thing with the pliers that I now have. I'd probably damage them. What the barriers or your pliers? <laughs> Fair enough. I guess we're going further back. I don't really know how, since the chain is unreachable. Yep, S stuff looks just about the same here. So we definitely need to grab this chain somehow. Maybe with our trusty bar. That's not gonna cut it. I can almost touch it. I wouldn't say almost. I, I'd say you're pretty f still far off.
but we do have a magnetic something. So let's try that. Come on. It's about 60 centimeters of steel. Mm. Magnetic pen. I thought you would work. I need to get more information. Oh, actually, maybe with the <laughs> maybe with the big fuck off magnet that I'm carrying, of course. I've managed to magnetize the bar. I forgot I picked up that big old magnet. Where's the bar? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. It looked more like a ladle. This should do the trick. Nice. Alright, so we still have to get this door open somehow. Let's use the oil. Maybe that'll ha help with the hasp. The can is empty now. Did that do it? Hmm. I wonder what's... Wonderful. Oh, I saw a big red button. But it is not pressable. Ooh, it's dark in here. Oh, it's pressable from here. Got it. The light switch. Use it, my good man. Doesn't look like the bulb is working. God damn it. Well, we did have a, a lamp bulb, but it's quite quite far away. I mean, I could go back to the to the trap door to the place where I saw a lamp, but I really don't want to. Well, let's go through the trap There's door. There's a hidden passageway down here. Well, it seems the trap door is still accessible, even in the darkness. Which is wonderful. Ah, and now we're here. Got it, got it. The pipes are obviously carrying something, but I'm not sure what. The box is hot to touch. It's vibrating slightly, but nothing happened. It's vibrating? Well, let's whack it. Hmm. Not, not sure what to do about that one. It's shut tight, but I can see another passageway beyond it. It's no use. It's too strong. I can't open it. What about our trusty bar? No. Screwdriver, perhaps? If only I had some rounds in my gun. What about the strange key? Hey, there's another passageway behind here. Perfect. Oh, and this leads to the bookstore, which is... Amazing, that's exactly where I want it to be. Very odd. A well inside the store itself. Indeed. I guess it's just a maintenance shaft that I didn't intend to go back into. Pretty convincing, but probably plastic all the same. Yes, most definitely. Pity they're extinct. Too many rich people wanted coats, I guess. I'll leave it alone. Pity others didn't, too. And there is your message, kids. Leave it alone. Another extinct species. What, well, pelicans? Wow. Future's tough. I hate snakes. A map of the world. Pity it's not a map of the zoo. I think we mapped it out quite well, dude. It's not a huge place. Cool. Very cool. Do it again. Aw, oh, come on. You only want to do it once. Who who only does it once? You're such a weirdo. Modern wonder of the world, no doubt. Very nice. I've always wanted one like that. Pity there's nothing of interest or use inside. Dude, this place is in very good shape. Your choice, buddy. Considering that it's been abandoned for years. Nah, leave him to it. 
This was probably the cash desk. I can't see anything of interest. Except the red thing on the desk? I can't see anything of interest. Fair enough. I mean, you're the adventure game character. Don't mind me noticing the big red things. This looks very interesting. Interesting. This section has books on Egyptology and Egyptian gods. I'm not interested. Religion? Strange subject matter for a zoo. I've no use for these. Pity these books didn't go extinct as well. Wow. Very opinionated dude. <laughs> it's a book about ancient Egyptology and Egyptian gods in particular. All right. Shower me with knowledge. Mm-hmm. Well, this will help me distinguish the, the oddly shaped blobs on those wheels. Seen in the act of leaning forward from the branches of a tree, pouring water over the tomb of a dead person, goddess of mercy. Goddess of mercy. The jackal of Asiut, a divine animal figure, patron and protector of the necropolis of Sakaris. Portrayed as a woman of the solar disk, bearing a circle of light, goddess of heaven. Often painted on sarcophagi, this minor goddess of the heavenly vault spreads protective wings over the mummy. A solar god, often depicted as a falcon. He is assigned the role of protector from all sickness that afflicts mankind. Portrayed as a woman with a cat's head, goddess of feminine fertility. Grotesque god portrayed in the act of entertaining women in labor with music and dance. Above all, he fosters sleep. Goddess of the Nile and its might, often portrayed mounted on a knot, the horse totem adored by the masses. Portrayed as a sacred winged scarab beetle, he was the image of a god always becoming in his continuous cycle of dying then rising again. God of the space between heaven and earth. Ra is the sun god and head of all Egyptian gods. He's often depicted as a man with a hawk's head attributed to be the wife of Osiris, goddess of harvests and vegetation. I thought it was Osiris. Osiris. All right, I think we have enough to work with. Got some knowledge. Let's go back into the well and apply that knowledge. All right, so under the supreme eye of the gods, which was Ra, there we go. Sits the solar protector of all men. That must have been uh, Horus. The button must be pressed. Yes, press the button because I want to check the book again. Well, nothing happened. I know. Horus. What was Horus? No, not Horus. Oh, this was Horus and this was Ra. Okay, I need to change those. Real quick. Ra is a solar god. That's Ra, and that's Horus. And what was the third part? To the right of he who delights in eternal, in the eternal becoming of his being. Hmm, well, it could be any of these. But let's just switch the two real quick. There are three. So here we need Ra. Which is this one, I think. And we have Horus here. And the other one, I'm not really sure. So we can check all of these. I oh. got that combination correct. Oh well. What was what was the third one? It looked like the scarab. Kepper. Portrayed as a sacred winged scarab beetle, he was the image of a god always becoming in his continuous cycle of dying then rising again. All right. Well, that was lucky. Oh, is that a we weapon? Oh, nice. A nice jacket, but I'm not on a fashion parade. Well, you could do with a makeover. I don't need it. I always like it when adventure game characters have weapons. It feels... It feels realistic. It's a microwave gun. It's almost out of charge. A microwave gun? Is it gonna cook you in two minutes or less? 
I don't think I'm up to repairing it. A dismantled mechanical lion. Hmm. Interesting biology lesson. Indeed. Oh, these robot animals are pretty cool. Everything appears to be switched off. I can see the goddess Kali on the monitor screen. Ah, these must be the barrier controls. What does this say? Illegible handwriting. Great. A doctor must have written it. Just some scribble. I don't think it's important. I would say it's important. <laughs> the Sphinx is on the monitor. Sphinx is on the monitor. This monitor is not working. So this must be the lava place, maybe? The button seems to be a simple two-state switch. It all seems switched off. The color of the button changed. Impressive. Does that mean the, the barrier is off? The button seems to be a simple two-state switch. Hmm. Co color of the button has changed. All right. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Hmm. Color of the button has changed. Hmm. Color of... Hmm. So are they... Are they all active now? Or... Have I deactivated the... It's off. The barriers? Nothing happened. Alright, let's see what happened. If they show that. I can see the goddess ca- It would be nice if you could mention if the barrier is off. The Sphinx is on the monitor. Ah yes, the barrier is off. Nice. Let's go to the lion. Shame. This mechanical creature is out of action. Well, I thought I thought that would be so exciting that we can go to the lion, but never mind. Truly spectacular. Truly. And the fissures are off as well. So let's go across the really dangerous looking footbridge. It's a very narrow, creaky rope bridge. Adds to the excitement, I guess. or not, that's a pretty good deterrent. A fierce-looking robotic dinosaur. Still Those working. look real. I'm not tackling it with my bare hands. Still working after all this time, eh? Let's, uh, microwave it. It's an unfashionable microwave weapon. It has almost no charge, which is why they were very unpopular. Okay, I wasted the critter, but I used all the charge in the gun. Poor dino creature. I actually feel bad I did that. It was just protecting its territory. Its robo-territory. Well, they certainly went to town with all the detail in this place. Not to mention expense. They shouldn't have done that. It looks terribly cheesy. As usual, artificial plants. Artificial plants. And is it real lava? It seems a little dangerous. It's a very narrow, creaky old rope bridge. It's an entrance to the cave. Well, this does not look like any cave interior I've ever seen. Luckily for me, they hadn't finished making this dinosaur. Well, you could have zapped it either, either way, regardless of size. This must be where they made and repaired the exhibits. Ah, a it flare. It could burn brightly. Perfect. We are going to blow up some gates. I was looking for what we could use as a, 
as a spark. It's a synthetic dinosaur skin. Very convincing. No use to me. This must be. Hmm. A strange key with the same electronic cell. Oh. Well, that's fancy. Goes to rummage through trash. It's full of garbage. Nothing of interest here. Then why put this tasty looking garbage can there? There's nothing interesting inside. Hmm. All right, as fun as this cage is, let's explore all of the other places that don't have barriers anymore. And just stomp on everything. It's a long drop down there. As usual. It's a perfect reproduction of the goddess Kali. I can't believe it. It's also made out of plastic. I can't believe it's plastic. Artificial plants. Plastic as you'd expect. <laughs> He's getting more and more upset that everything is plastic. There's a faucet hidden behind here. Why? A small non-plastic brass faucet. Non-plastic? <laughs> I love this guy. A small non-plastic brass faucet. At least something is not plastic. For him, plastic is not fantastic. It's a mechanical thing, but has razor-sharp teeth. Made out of plastic. I'm not touching it. Because it's plastic. Nice work, but I bet it's plastic. It absolutely probably is plastic. <laughs> I'll probably knock it over. <sighs> I hate snakes. Yep, hate snakes. Nothing apart from a nozzle and a fuel regulator. Not much I can do here. Fuel regulator, eh? It's got no charge and is unusable. Hmm. I do like the word fuel because I want a big explosion. Nothing apart from a nozzle and a fuel regulator. Not much I can do here. It's made of brass. Which is the way things should Not be. Not much I can do here. A small pool of fuel is welled inside. Oh, well, that's fantastic. It's an empty... Put it in the beer can. I'd better not drink it. <laughs> Don't be tempted, because it probably smells like fuel. Not much I can do here. The bowl is dry. The sensor is preventing further fuel from leaking out. Nah. Nah. Alright, so is this fuel enough? Man, I hope that kid isn't dead. I'm taking my sweet time in getting to him. <laughs> I really don't want to dirty up my shoes. Okay, I've poured all the fuel into the tank. Is it enough? Hmm, gas and fuel. A sure way to light up the evening. Hell yeah. You dropped something. Damn! The minicom is busted. It's just spitting sparks now. All right, kid. Get ready to be rescued. R -r -r rescued. Amazing. 
It was completely hidden before. But would have still ruined your shoes if you had to walk through that gunk. The sluice stinks. No way. I've got absolutely no intention of exploring the sewers. Of course you wouldn't want to explore the sewers. Okay, kid. I'm coming. It's one of the zoo's robotic creatures that's seen better days. Well, can't do anything with it, and it is not alive. He's out cold. Nothing serious. <laughs> he just fainted from the electrocution. <laughs> Nothing serious. He had a remote control on him. I'll take that. Well, <laughs> I will loot his body, though. Wonderful. It's full of electrical components. It's a Zame electronics gadget. Oh, interesting. We did have a Zame mention in that cave. It's a Zame electronics gadget. All right. Hey, kid. He's out cold. Nothing serious. Nothing serious. Well, you take a nice nap, kid. So tired. So, so tired. Cool. Hey, nice. Why did the kid have that? Oh, he must have zoomed in here and stolen shit. Don't steal, kids. It's a synthetic dinosaur skin. No use to. I kind of want that skin. Pity the minicom got busted. I must be near the terrorist space. Gotta love the synth music. Oh man, it's pretty good. Hmm, there's a label on the crate. King of jokes. I found a set of telescopic pincers. It looks like there's something else in here. Like what? A set of telescopic pincers. Cool. A hologram projector. Man, there's all sorts of cool stuff in there. It's a hologram projector. The label says, scare your friends with the monster of the lagoon. Hmm. Sounds cool. What else is in there? Hmm. There's a label on the crate. The crate is empty now. No, it is not. It is full of interesting things. Empty containers. I'm not sure what they contain. This must be the controls for those large mechanical pincers. Wonderful, but they're of no use to me right now. Maybe later. Looks very powerful. Empty. Nothing of any use. Not like this, these pincers and holographic projector. They're empty. Empty. Nothing of any use. Hmm. Very imposing. No good. I can't get out that way. Surprisingly, you cannot open it with your bare hands. It's some kind of control panel. I can't open it. Can you pry it open? No. Large cans. I bet these make some noise when knocked together. All right. Good observation. Yes, they will make a lot of noise. It's what's left. Bad idea. Bad idea, eh? Great. Pity they're of no use to me at the moment. 
But it's good to know we have powerful pincer arms. Now, let's go to the elevator. It goes up into the ceiling structure. I think it's the controls for the trapdoor. Which trapdoor? Oh, that trapdoor. Carry on. What, no puzzles or anything? No stuck buttons? Impressive. This must lead out onto the roof. No point, it's already open. This must, it's open, now I can get out onto the roof. No point, it's already. So go to the roof. Thank you. Damn. It's automatic. It's closed again. Oh shit, so now I'm trapped because the trap door is closed. Hmm. The lock on the trap door. It looks just about bomb proof. Yep. I cannot bomb myself out of this situation. The lock on the trap door. No good. It'll take something special to break it. A large rusty faucet. It's completely dry. It's a hose pipe with a bronze anti-splash nozzle. Okay, I can use the hose with something. The pipe may have a use, but not for this. Looks like a maintenance building. It's solid and barred. I've no idea why anyone would want to break in, though. Yeah, but we're gonna. We're totally gonna do it, because we're stuck here. It's closed, but it doesn't appear very secure. Good. Perhaps I can lever it with something. I do have some levering devices. Bad idea. Bad idea. What about the magnetic bar? Oh, yeah. No, I lost my bar. Damn. Dropped it. Ugh, arguably the most useful tool in my whole inventory. I lost it. Damn. <laughs> Oh, it seems to be getting very technical. A big crumbling machine. It's obviously seen better days. What does it do? Oh, it's a generator. Gotcha. Operating temperatures and generator checks. Nothing of real interest. I don't need these documents. And then we have oxygen and hydrogen? What does it say there? This contains hydrogen. This contains oxygen. Yep, he knocked on them and they are indeed not plastic. Feels good. <laughs> Mixer faucet. A faucet used to regulate and mix the gases. Yes, but why? Oh, for the hose thing. So it, it pumped out oxygen and hydrogen. Mm. No point. The mix seems fine anyhow. A faucet used to regulate and mix the gases. The window is barred. Shame they didn't pay more attention to security on the door. 